it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I am not feeling super awesome today so I decided to move my camera and light and everything and just be cozy in my bed in my PJs my Batman PJs <laughs> and we are going to go over my January monthly haul what I purchased in January see if I stuck to my low buy and I know there's still a couple days left in the month but I have cut myself off I am done purchasing for the month so we will see if I <laughs> stuck to my low buy and what I picked up let's get started so I've been keeping track in my Erin Condren planner in this little spending tracker that I keep in the notes section what I have been purchasing and how much it cost. So on the 4th I purchased for $18 the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. I used it to create this look right here along with a couple other palettes because I was, you know, just feeling like really experimenting so I used this shade on the inner corner this shade topped over a neon body paint to do the liner and this shade in the crease and also this shade tight to the waterline and this shade blown out on the lower lash line and I really like this so far I know I'm not always impressed with Juvia's palettes, but I'm really glad I purchased this one. And then on Saturday the 5th, I purchased two NYX Glitter Goals from Ulta. These are the new glitter liners that NYX has. They discontinued their crystal body liners and came out with these. I am wearing Crystal Ball along the green liner. So far, I like these better than the Crystal Body Liners. I'm glad they reformulated them, but definitely let me know if you want a video, a review, a demo on any of these products. I will be happy to do that. And then on Sunday the 6th, I purchased $25 worth of Winky Lux from Macy's. It was this set, this little cosmetic bag, and this palette, which I used in my Nerdy Nomicon collab and it is the mini uptown kitten palette and it's really really beautiful and the packaging is so glittery and gorgeous and then the rose glimmer bomb i have lipstick on the tip but it's really really pretty and i love these glimmer bombs so i think this is a great deal 25 dollars for this palette and this glimmer bomb plus a cute little bag the second week of January. I only made one makeup purchase. Sigma was having their friends and family sale for 30% off and they sent a select few loyal customers a coupon for 50% off. So I decided I've never tried Sigma makeup. Let me try some at 50% off. That sounds like a great deal. So I got the blush palette which I think is no longer available, but it's super, super beautiful. And even though some of these shades don't look wearable, like all of these shades, I can wear them. I mixed this one, Spiced and Pet Name, on my cheeks today, and I think it looks so beautiful. I am really glad to have this palette, and it has a really nice mirror, super sturdy packaging. And then I got the Liquid Wicked Liner. I played with it a few times. It is a felt tip. I'm not the biggest fan of felt tips. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But it is a really super black matte formula, which I like. I'm just not the biggest fan of the applicator. I also got the eyeshadow primer base in Persuade. This is just like a nude shadow stick for priming your eyes and so far I'm enjoying it but I haven't really tested if it really extends the wear and prevents creasing or anything like that so I can't bash for that but it does let shadows adhere and blend nicely without you know setting it with powder or anything. The third week of January, which I went on my trip to San Antonio and went to PAX and all of that, 
I made no makeup purchases. I'm so stoked about that. I'm so proud of myself. This past week, I made three purchases. <laughs> and the first purchase was on Monday the 21st. I got the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer from Ulta. I got the shade Light Ivory. I think this is a bit light for me, but it's hard to shade match online. It does work for brightening my under eyes, and I do really enjoy the formula. But I think if I were to repurchase, I would get a slightly darker shade so that I could like use it on dark spots and blemishes and all of that and not just use it as a brightening under eye concealer. Then I'm just going to insert pictures over here of my next two purchases. I purchased them yesterday, Sunday. I'm filming this on Monday and I purchased from two indie brands that I've never tried before because I thought I have money left in my budget and I really want to try these products because they're super cool. The first one is this palette from Menagerie Cosmetics, the Dragon Child palette. It was $35 and it looks so beautiful. It caught my eye in an Instagram ad and I was like, you know, I have like mermaid stuff and, and unicorn stuff, but I don't have any dragon stuff. I think I need this in my life. And I feel like I had ruined my budget, so I went ahead and ordered that. And then I saw on Angelica Nyquist going on the wishlist or non new makeup releases video this highlighter from Beauty Bar Baby Cosmetics. And it is like a Valentine's Day highlighter that is all shifty and has those cute little heart imprints and I just had to have it. And it was only $8.99 so I rounded up to $9. So that puts the total for this week at $53. So the total for all my purchases for January is $142 which puts me under budget just barely for the month. I'm so excited and so proud of myself for doing that. Hi, after work Rachel here. I'm a little frizzy and sweaty and wearing a t-shirt. My hair's falling out. Uh, that's just what you look like after grooming. But I went to Walmart after work and I found one more makeup item that I could not resist. It was just calling my name and it stayed within my budget. Like I had I think about $8 left in my budget and this was like $7.97 or $7.48 or something. I'll have to look at the receipt and I'll like put it on the screen. But let me show you what I got. So this is the Rimmel Magnifies Thunderstorm Edition. And if you know me, you know I am all about, see the tattoo? Thunder and lightning and thunderstorms. Like that is my favorite weather. And the colors are so fun. Like, this is such a unique color story. I don't have any palettes like this. And I really do like the Magnifies palettes that I have. And being just under 8 bucks, And, uh, I don't know, it was like the perfect purchase. And, and now I'm done for the month. I'm really done for the month. Now, I did make other purchases that weren't makeup. But this is a makeup low buy. So this is what I spent on makeup for the month of January and I'm really proud of myself for sticking to it. Let me know if you want any videos on any of these products, tutorials, reviews, anything like that. I'd be happy to do that for you. All of the products, if they are still available, will be linked in the description box down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below how you're doing on your either low buy or no buy journey this year so far if that's what you're doing. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. I will see you guys next time. Bye!